Finance Minister Donna Harpower is projecting Saskatchewan is a billion dollars in the black. Revenues are up by $2.5 billion from last year thanks to strong non-renewable resources and higher tax revenues. So how will the government spend all the money? Last summer it handed out $500 checks to help people with rising cost of living. Harpower says Cabinet discussed doing that again and decided against it. Inflation is going to come down this year by, by forecasters and the trend is heading that way. I, I just, we just felt we should target more this particular budget and not do another $450 million. There will be no tax hikes and no tax cuts. Our power says now is not the time. We were in, I don't think we're in the position yet to um, do a major walk back. I have a lot of optimism we're going to get there though because there is you know, a large uh, private sector commitment uh, for growth here in our province. This budget offers no new cost of living relief for families struggling to pay their bills at the end of every month. Not a stitch of relief. The government says it will use its surplus to pay down a billion dollars in operating debt. It will focus its health spending on recruiting and training health care workers and reducing surgical wait times. Those on income assistance will see some benefits rise by $30 per month. NDP leader Carla Beck says the SAS party government is failing families and young people. I really thought that we would see some sort of acknowledgement, some sort of investment in, in our K-12 system in this budget, uh, for one example. We didn't see that. We don't see an investment that even meets inflation in our classrooms right now. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.